Yes, yes, welcome to a new video of mine. If you haven't, please leave a like, subscribe, and if you have any questions, you leave them in the comments below. Today we will be checking out this Harley Benton ST20. Uh, here it is. I'm going to take off the strings. So. Alright, the neck is off. Here it is. It has a. Uh, doesn't have a uh, sharp fret edges, so that's pretty nice. The only thing it is, is I need to polish the frets because they are. Uh, uh, yeah, when you bend a uh, string, they grind up against it, so they get, you can hear it. So they need to. Uh, a little bit of uh, dust. It's coming out from it. Uh, it's uh, so this needs to be polished. And I'm going to oil the neck with some lemon oil and let uh, place uh, new uh, new uh, tuning machines on it. Yeah, and uh, this is going to be my uh, my first try at uh, relicking a uh, guitar. First, I'm going to take a picture. From uh, on my uh, computer, from uh, the John Fajanti uh, Strat. Yeah, let's start uh, relicking uh, this body. Uh, it's going to be my first try, so I'm going to. I don't know exactly how I'm going to do this, but. It's a lot uh, tougher than I thought it would be, but uh, yeah. So I'm a bit further, I'm uh, getting uh, the hang of it. I need to. You can. Uh, you don't scrape, but you. Uh, yeah. You, you pinch it with the bit the point that uh, the lacquer is. Uh, f f uh, uh, it's going to get loose and uh, you have to need uh, to wear uh, glasses because it, it springs up into your face. Yeah, starts to look good. It takes some time, but uh, I'm building this, uh, for, I'm relicking this guitar because uh, of uh, the, maybe in the, in the future there will be a, a um, Joe Fashanti Signature Strat, but uh, yeah, that's going to cost uh, more than I uh, have, so that's, uh, yeah, it would be a dream to have that guitar, but it's never going to happen, so I'm going to try to... Uh, this is my first attempt at, at relicking and uh, yeah, building a uh, John Fashanti signature sweat uh, by myself on the, on the cheap, on the very cheap because I don't know if uh, it's going to turn out well if it's, good, if it's going to turn out well and I can always do a uh, number two on a, a more, more expensive guitar but for now I'm going to uh, learn relicking on a a cheap guitar. It was 90 euros, so that's nothing. Yeah, bits and bits of pieces flying around, so uh, you need to wear eye glasses for safety. Looking good, man. And the 
knife, uh, it broke. <coughs> yes, got myself a new uh, knife. And it's a lot sharper than the one I was using. So this is going uh, pretty, pretty, pretty good, man. Wow, looking great, man. Really good, really, really good. So this is how it looks now, it's going uh, better than I thought it would uh, go, yeah it's nice man, it's looking good, looking good. I cut myself. It's just I'm back and I cut my finger. So this part is uh, done for now. Uh, the back is not completely ready but uh, yeah it's uh, looking good. Uh, now we're going to uh, like the top. So. Uh, uh, I, I, I told you this, this, I hoped it was going to be a replica of the 62 strap from John, but I, uh, the finish to, to, to relic, a poly finish, because the John had nitro finish, that's, uh, uh, over time that's going to relic differently than uh, a poly finish. So I'm going to do it in the, in the, style of John, but it's not going to be a uh, complete uh, replica of it uh, because it's too too hard to uh, relic the uh, chips so when you cut it with, with, with a knife it chips, it doesn't scratch it so that, uh, I'm going to start uh, relicing uh, and I'll take you guys uh, with it so uh, yes Yes, yes, so it's starting to look pretty nice, I think. Here it is. Quite nice. Uh, it's, I'll do some spots here. And then, of course, the uh, arm contour. Uh, yeah, that's going to be a lot of work. Alright, it's not a uh, complete replica, but it's uh, it's uh, based on a John Fashanti 62 Strat. Yeah. I'm uh, 
happy with it. It's going better than I thought it would be. In the beginning, I thought, man, man, what am I getting into? But now, uh, yeah, it's going better and better. It's getting better all the time. Just doing some uh, minor uh, scratches. Uh, It's just, let's see how it's uh, doing. So this is the front. It's not ready yet, but uh, it's looking a bit. And there's the back of it. It's starting to look good. It's um, we need to. I don't know how to do it. Maybe sand it or. Also, like this, where your arm goes, it's. Uh, I don't know how to get the effect without, uh, yeah, maybe with sandpaper or something. So, but I'm pretty pleased with it. Uh, the input has uh, nice marks on the sides, it's looking good. The back of it, I think, is beautiful. So, the front. Mint green uh, scratch plate, the knobs are uh, a little bit uh, creamy, old color. Um, I think I'm going to put in a new bridge because I'm uh, really liking this this guitar. I never thought it I would. I thought it it would just be a project to do, but yeah, now I'm getting to it's that attached to uh, this guitar. So maybe that's going to cost me uh, a lot of money because I want to upgrade it. Also need to yellow up the neck because it's uh, quite pale. Yeah, maybe put a new bridge, switch, CTS uh, 250k pop meters. Uh, thank you for watching again. Um, if you have any questions, please uh, uh, post them in the. Uh, in the message in the comments below uh, like subscribe thank you very much uh, see you soon bye bye and oh yeah thank you for watching this whole video um, do you have any suggestions how to rank it uh, better or more or uh, with different tools I don't know uh, I'm curious what uh, how do you uh, guys uh, yeah, what to do for to make it uh, better? So yeah, leave it in the comments, and I uh, thank you very much. Okay, bye bye.